What's going on guys? Twin coming at you with another MLB The Show 18 video. Today we're going to be drafting a team, playing the first few games with that team. Let's see if we can get 50 or more likes on this video. Subscribe if you guys are new on the road to 18k. Comment down below right now what your favorite type of pizza is. A lot of you guys said if you could have only one food for the rest of your life, it would be pizza. So let me know your favorite pizza down in the comment section below. Mine is either chicken bacon ranch or probably just like straight up pepperoni like a lot of pepperoni with a white sauce maybe like a garlic parmesan type sauce on it also be sure to follow on twitter and instagram twin gaming yt on twitter twin gaming tv on instagram check out the fortnite channel we're pushing to 1000 subscribers over on there daily uploading in 2019 i could really use your support over on that channel should be one of the first few links down in that description let's go ahead hopefully draft an immortal in this first round all right come on immortal babe or immortal. oh i don't i don't of stubs wow <laughs> i'm 54 away now we have enough stubs immortal babe or immortal griffy are who i really want maybe musial oh immortal goose this is a good card but i'm not amazing with it i'm not terrible either uh 43 and two thirds innings 2.27 era not not awful only two walks too uh which i'm pretty proud of which is i think why my era is so high and I think we're going to draft him. I think we're going to draft Immortal Goose Gossage. He's going to be my go-to righty out of the bullpen. Hopefully, I do not regret that. I think... Oh, do I want Dozier or Aguilar? Oh, man. Aguilar has better contact, but Dozier just has a little bit better... Actually, not. Aguilar has better power. Dozier has better vision and speed, though, which is kind of big. Because, uh, you know, if he hits it into the gap, he could stretch it into, like, a triple or whatever. Oh, that's tough. So... Brian Dozier, not a huge sample size. 8 for 32. Five of those eight hits are homers. Aguilar, I have not tried, which makes me want to draft Aguilar. I haven't tried him out. We might as well try him out, see how we do with that card. Common round, getting a starting pitcher. We'll get Dylan Floro, a righty in the bullpen. Let's see. Ooh, Randall Gritchick. I like Randall Gritchick cards. I do, I do, I do. Uh, Raul Monesi, one of my favorites to use, but Scott Schebler, man, he has some power for a lefty, a little bit of speed, too. But I know I do well with... But the thing is, Mondesi, common hitting. But 15 for 42, man. I know I do well with this card. Oh, that's tough. I, but I, I kind of want to try a new card. Oh, man, that's tough. I think we're going to go Raul. If he had a little bit more power, if it was like 80-80 or something, then I think I'd go Scott here. But we're going to go good old Raul Mondesi. Uh, let's see. Man, I don't want Dylan Batansis. We already have a Mortal Goose. I feel like I don't need Batansis. Jason Castro has some decent pop. George Brett doesn't really have power, but he has high vision and contact. Uh, but we know that doesn't really like amount to hits, uh, at least for me. And then just a lot of the time. So I think we're going to go. Oh, man. Oh, Lord. This is tough. This is actually really tough because Castro's hitting stats aren't amazing. You know, they're not like some unreal hitting stats. Do I go Batansis? I feel like Batansis is not the move here. I feel like he's really not. Um, but I don't really like either of these guys. I'm going to go Batansis. Hopefully that's not dumb. It's probably dumb. Let me know down in the comment section below who you would have chosen in that round. Uh, and, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to assume it's probably not Batansis. Man, this is not a great draft for me. I know I do okay with Kinsler cards. Uh, Francisco Cervelli, not amazing, but not a, not a big enough sample size to really tell. Let's get a couple common rounds in a row. There's two, maybe three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. There's three, four. Wow, our starting pitchers already done. I will take that for sure. Uh, Shinsu Chu or Steven Vogt? 70-33, 72-48. I'm thinking Shin Shinsu Chu right here. Haven't used either of these cards, uh, at least on my main account. I know I've used Steven on my second account, but we're going to go... Man. We're going to go Shinsu Chu. We'll try him out in the outfield. Uh, Jim Palmer going to be my last righty. I need three more lefties to round out my bullpen now. Ooh, man. Mike Moustakis or Aaron Hicks? I feel like Aaron Hicks is the move. That's, that's more power than I was expecting. And Diamond Fielding. I've used him quite a bit. My average is not amazing. Uh, but, like, same thing with Mike Moustakis. I stuck with him. Alex Avila I'm okay with. But, uh, Aaron Hicks being a switch hitter, having, having that fielding, that arm, everything like that. Uh, with a little bit of power, I feel like he's definitely the move here. Amir Garrett, one of my lefties out of the bullpen. Let's see. Jorge Posada or Ricky Machado? So, 23 for 111. I feel like that's a big enough sample size with this Jorge Posada to say that I am not amazing with him. Ricky Machado, 2 for 14, though. 
Oh, Lord, this is tough. Let's just keep going switch hitters. Why not, man? We'll get another switch hitter. Hopefully, that's not a stupid decision. Chase Headley. I'm hoping we can get to a lefty in each of these rounds. Give me lefty relievers. All right, we got a couple to choose from. Mike Dunn or Chase and Sharif. If I can tell from experience, Chase and Sharif uh, might give up some, uh, some dingers. But change or slide, Mike Dunn doesn't have a change up. Um, let's see. We're going to go Mike Dunn for the sinker. Lefty, lefty, lefty. No. Dang it, man. No lefty. Uh, so, Darren O'Day. Let's see. 2.29. Jeremy Jeffries. Haven't used him. Luke Gregerson. I, I, I know for a fact that I just don't like Luke Gregerson. I feel like it's... Oh, man. I don't really like Santiago's, uh, Santiago's pitch selection. Jeremy Jeffries. It's okay. But... Man, this is tough. Because if I use Darren O'Day, my opponent's going to be looking low and I can go high. We'll do Darren O'Day. We'll do Darren O'Day. I have a weird bullpen, man. I don't know if I like it. Um, I don't have any silver or gold rounds. So, if I'm going to replace somebody, like, the only guy that I might want to replace is Chase Headley at third. Uh, so, if I can get, like, someone with a lot of power to put at third, I'll do it. Otherwise, we're just drafting bench guys now. Ooh, 84 speed, Jack Reinheimer. I like that. Not a lot of power from any of these guys, so we'll just get a little bit more speed and a switch hitter. Um, still, man, not a lot of these guys have much power. I guess if they did, they'd probably be a higher overall. And uh, I think I should get one more righty. We'll do, we'll do Trey Mancini. I'm going to go ahead, make the lineup, and then we'll get into the first game. If I want to be honest with you guys, woo! I'm not sure about this team. Um... Like, we have a good bullpen. Obviously, we have an amazing bullpen. We drafted an Immortal Goose Gossage. But, like, the line, I mean, I don't know. I, like, just looking at this lineup, I don't see myself going 12-0 with this team. Obviously, though, we got to be confident. And uh, let's go ahead, start off, get win number one. We're playing the Las Vegas Gamblers. Our opponent has Chris Carter, Travis Shaw, Chris Davis, 85, Raul, Jose Altuve, Odubo Herrera, 78, Sean Rodriguez, 81, Alex Avila, David Hess, hopefully a lefty, man. It feels weird to be rooting for a lefty on the mound. We got Scott Barlow on the mound. Home team looking to start off 1-0. This guy's a really good, honestly, just good lineup in general, but especially like the first five or six guys, we're going to have to be careful too. Yo! Chris Davis, 0-2 count, man. 0-2. Oh, and honestly, I'm, I'm just going to say, this is not like a terrible pitch. That is exactly where I wanted the pitch. But my opponent was ready for it. Immortal Goose. Immortal. Immortal Goose. <laughs> giving up a home run. Giving up a triple. Yo, Immortal Goose, man. Maybe it's the sinker. So we gave up the homer on a sinker. That was a sinker right there, too. Not that pitch, but the uh, the, the triple. So I'm thinking... Sinker... Yo, we can't even get... Oh, no. Okay, we got it out of the inning. I'm thinking we can't even throw uh, sinkers. No more sinkers, at least in this game, because... They did not work well for us. I'm really hoping I can tie the game here in this inning because I don't I don't want to start off 0-1 with this team. I hate I hate I hate losing in general, but losing the very first game of a BR, that's sad for me, man. I don't like it. Aaron Hicks getting a base hit. There we go. So Aguilar, we flew out to center field. Just missed one. Aaron Hicks getting a one-out base hit. Randall Gritchick coming up. Lefty on the mound. I'm assuming they'll take out the lefty. Uh we have righty switch righty. Cut to Maeda coming in. I really, really want to tie the game right here. Randall Gritchick, that's going to advance the runner. Oh, no infield hit for him. Two down. Runner in scoring position for Raul Mondesi, man. Let's just hit something into the gap. Score that runner. I'm trash with the Mortal Goose. I, I honestly, I think this is the last time I draft him because every single time I do, it, it's probably on me, but I just, I do so bad with him. I, I don't know why. Like, I don't know if there's any specific reason, but it's just, it seems like his ERA is not that bad. It's two something, but it just seems like every time I draft him, I never do well. Dang it, man. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We might get him. We might get him. 
And now Dylan Batansic goes, I, mean, I can't talk. I suck at this game today. Maybe all the time. I just want to say, I feel like that's not a bad pitch, though. You know, I, I, I'm honestly, I'm not, you know, mad about that, that I left that pitch there or anything. I suck, man. 0-1 with this team. I mean, I didn't feel good about the team from the get-go. We're going to go ahead and try to get win number one, but wow. Like, just losing the first game and, oh, not even doing well makes me sad. Uh, I have not been playing very well. I, I also have not been playing this game as much as I, I, I did the past few weeks or whatever. I, I haven't been playing as many games and everything. Uh, so I think I'm slowly getting back into the groove. But, wow, that was just not a great game. One thing I do want to say, though, I felt like my pitching wasn't as bad as it seemed. Yeah, we gave up a home run. Yeah, we gave up a... Uh, another run after that but i showed you guys like we didn't make bad pitches you know uh, our, our opponent was just obviously good at hitting you know they were hitting things out of the zone but making solid contact they were still getting the pc out of the ball and uh so like i felt like i was making decent pitches um i don't i i did probably hang some but i don't think my pitching was as bad as it might have seen my hitting terrible uh that game my hitting was awful i don't really like this team though in terms of hitting uh so we'll just have to see how we can do this next game just bounce back we're playing the vanderbilt commodore acs cody bellinger steven souza jr immortal mike pizza 80 chris bryant rugnot Odor, 75 miggy john hicks a higher adrianza probably pronouncing that wrong pr pronouncing a lot of stuff wrong i apologize uh kyle right on the mound we got carson fulmer on the mound away team dudes i'm so sad that we lost that first game i hate doing that I, I just hate losing for you guys but the first game in a br however good news last time we lost the first game we won 12 games so maybe we'll bounce back and win 12 this time we're playing in baltimore if my opponent does end up quitting you know before pitch is even thrown or whatever uh we'll, we'll go ahead and get one more game in this video for you guys oh man our opponent has a 12-0 nameplate. I don't think they're quitting. Jesus Aguilar starting the game off with a hot shot to third. Man. My diamonds leading off for me. Immortal Yogi Bear in the last battle royale run. Uh, Jesus Aguilar, I mean, it's only been two at-bats or three at-bats in this one. But I, just, I can't hit with them. I don't know what it is, but my, my leadoff diamond hitters, I am struggling to hit with. Maybe I'm being impatient. Maybe I just suck at the game. Probably a mix of both, but it's been sad. Cody Bellinger threw a fastball where I shouldn't have. Uh, we're losing one to nothing. I'm down to my final six outs in this BR. I'm 0-1 with this team. I'm down to my final six outs in, in, in this battle royale. Wow. Um, that that was just that that was just a, a case of me doing something I shouldn't have. I tried to throw a fastball in the corner. You guys know I suck at, if you just watch here, I suck at getting the, the baseball into that little ball. I mean, I did it perfect there or whatever. Uh, not good timing, but like perfect location. But I, I suck at getting it into that ball like 99% of the time. And I do it with the fastball. And instead of missing, because I tried to throw it on the outside corner. And instead of missing to the right, we missed to the left, which means the pitch is going to go to the left. And it's going to go over the heart of the plate. Cody Bellinger on uh er, in the batter's box with a common on the mound and a fastball down the middle probably not going to end too well so we are down to my final six ounce in this battle royale i'm gonna steal i'm gonna steal please don't please don't catch me Hit and run. Oh, we're going to go to third now. Don't don't get me out. Let's go. Runners on the corners. It actually worked. Runners on the corners. Nobody down. Shin Su Chu up to bat. We are a deep fly ball away from tying the game, Shin Su Chu says. I'm not going to be the one to get you that deep fly ball. I could have gone home. Maybe. I don't know if he would have thrown it. We probably would have been out. Jorge Posada now trying to uh, get that deep fly ball and not a double play. Please, dear, no. No, 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 double play. Jorge Bosada, let's go inside the game. That makes me so happy. Oh, man. But the, it's not over yet, but I'm just... We're not down to our final ounce anymore. Huge weight off of my shoulders. Chase Headley into the gap. That one is gone. A three run. It's not gone. It's a uh, two RBI double, though. I'll take it. <laughs> I, I saw him stop running with the center fielder. I didn't realize he took control of the right fielder or something. 
and uh, I'm gonna keep a mortal goose in and I just thought it was a home run but it's a two RBI double now our opponent the tables have turned is down to his final six ounce rich Gossage the immortal helping himself out three run lead RBI single for him let's go baby let's go baby we're getting the W we're bouncing back started off 0-1 ended 1-1 started off this game losing one to nothing I really didn't think I had it in me especially with how I hit last game we were able to find our bats and uh, we were able to win the game that's gonna be it for this video you guys um I don't know if tomorrow's video will be starting off right here like where we left off if i'm gonna play this off stream off recording play it on stream but off recording we'll just have to see uh we'll just have to stay tuned for tomorrow and uh see where we're at with this team i i, I, I don't i don't want the next video to pick up right here uh just because we're one and one you know i, I want to get to at least three wins maybe even try to get to six before i would record again otherwise just draft a new team so we'll see uh we'll see where we, where we end up if you guys enjoyed the video be sure to leave a like again instagram twitter Fortnite channel appreciate it if you guys showed some love on all of those also on twitch i don't think i mentioned that at the beginning but follow on twitch as well uh, i want to start streaming on there more i'll see you guys next time thank you so much for watching have a fantastic rest of your day peace out